Welcome back, Pokemon fans. I am Angel of the 9091, and today we have a Wi Fi battle versus Scarlet. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead here. We've got a single battle, and uh, I've also got a random team here together to go ahead and do this battle with. Uh, so let's see what uh, Scarlet's gonna bring there today. It looks like there is a Lapunny, a Thunderous, a Talonflame, a Sylveon, a Star Me, I think it is Star Me, and um, Spiritomb. So let's go ahead here and choose our Pokemon wisely, and uh, we'll get right into that match. All right, so good luck there, Scarlet, and have some fun. So we begin the battle here, and uh, I'm gonna lead off with my Rotom Wash. Now with Rotom Wash here, it's pretty well a good idea to have that as my lead at the moment. Uh, looks like Zumi is gonna come out, which is the Lapunny. Uh, so with Lapunny onto the field, this is most likely going to be a Mega Evolution here. Let's maybe go for the Will-O-Wisp. All right, so it looks like Scarlet's gonna Mega Evolve the Lapunny. Okay, and it looks like there's the Fake Out. So the Fake Out is going to uh, do some damage here. Of course, I'm uh, now flinched and cannot move. I'm still gonna try to go for that Will-O-Wisp though. Uh, there's the return. Now the return's probably going to hit quite a bit. And uh, I do have a Citrus Berry, so the Citrus Berry is going to regain my health uh, back to a good point. Here's the Will-O-Wisp. Now uh, the Lapunny's attack power is going to be cut, of course. And also uh, going to lose some health there from the, uh, from the burn. Uh, let's just go for the Protect here just to scout what, uh, what Lapunny's going to do here. And it looks like it's going to go for another return. Alright, so uh, I don't want to leave the Rotom Wash out at the moment. Uh, I'm probably going to swap out. Uh, let's swap out, out to our Scizor. Now with uh, Simon out on the field, I'm not going to Mega Evolve as soon as I get in, of course. Uh, the return's going to hit, not going to do a whole lot of damage. Uh, what I'm going to actually try to do is I'm actually going to uh, raise my attack power with a Sword Dance to start off. And uh, once I've got the Sword Dance going, I'm going to uh, maybe see about getting a Bullet Punch going. Um, so the Lapunny has been returned. Uh, it looks like Talonflame is going to come out onto the field next. Now there's the Sword Dance. Now I'm a little bit worried about the Talonflame and the only reason being is that it is a fire type. Um, Bullet Punch is not going to do a whole lot of damage. Uh, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm likely going to have to go to a different Pokemon. I could probably sacrifice my Rotom Wash, uh, but if I do go into, uh, for example, Rhyperior, I should be able to take his hits no problem. Uh, so Rhyperior is going to come out into play here, and I should be able to have enough defense to uh, be able to survive this hit. There we are, there we go. Sweet. Type resistance. Always good. Uh, so I'm going to regain some health there with the leftovers. Alright. And uh, maybe what we'll do is we'll try to go for a Stone Edge here. Now I don't think he's going to stay in. If he does, he's most likely going to go for a Brave Bird. But I don't feel he's going to stay in. I could theoretically have gone for a Substitute uh, to ensure that I'm not going to get... Uh, seriously wrecked by another Pokemon, but I do want to try to get a Stone End off onto this uh, Talon Flame. Alright, we're just waiting for him to decide what he wants to do. Okay, just going to keep waiting here just to find out what's going to happen. Alright, so he's going to withdraw the Talon Flame, which is probably the best idea you could go with. He's going to go out to Star Z, which is the Star Me. Now, the Stone Edge, of course, is going to hit, and uh, that's got actually done quite a bit of damage, taking it right down into the red zone. Okay, so I'm going to recall my uh, Rhyperior. Let's go back out to our Rotom Wash. 
And uh, I'm gonna be taking a hit from that Starmie though, but I'm most likely gonna be a water type attack anyway. Uh, there's the Hydro Pump. Non oh, that actually did a whole lot more damage than I thought. Uh, looks like Star Z has a Life Orb. Let's go for the Thunderbolt here. No, the Thunderbolt, uh, even if he recovers, I'm gonna be able to do some damage off onto it. He's gonna withdraw the, uh, the Star Z. He's gonna go out into Spiritomb. Now, Spiritomb is uh, quite bulky, of course, so I'm not sure what it's going to be able to do here. So there's the Thunderbolt. Uh, wow, that actually did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Uh, he's also going to regain some health there with the Leftovers. Uh, definitely not a bad idea. Uh, let's just go for a Protect, just to see what he's going to be uh, trying to do here. Uh, he might have like a Sucker Punch or something like that. It looks like he's got a Dark Pulse. Um, so he's going to keep regaining some health there with the leftovers, so I automatically know that this is a special attacker, uh, so I'm not going to waste my time on a uh, Will-O-Wisp. Let's go for the Thunderbolt. Uh, the Thunderbolt's still going to be able to do quite a bit of damage, taking him into the red. Uh, there's the Dark Pulse. Uh, of course, I'm going to lose my Rotom Wash, uh, but that's alright. I do have many other Pokemon there that I can use against uh, Scarlet. So again, the Spirit Tomb's gonna regain some health. Uh, let's go out to our Darmanitan. And uh, with Darmanitan onto the field, I'm just gonna go ahead and try to maybe, I'm just gonna maybe do a Flare Blitz here just to see if I can get that uh, damage off. I wanna try to take the Spirit Tomb out as fast as possible. Uh, and then of course, uh, more than likely, the Starmie's gonna come back into play. So let's just wait here just to see what uh, Scarlet's gonna do. Wait here just to see. I'm predicting it's probably going to be a switch. I can't see him staying in with uh, the Darmanitan. All right, yeah. So, or yeah. So he's going to swap out the Spirit Tomb. He's going to go into Thunderous. Now, with, uh, the Thunderous onto the field. Here's the Flare Blitz. Now, the Flare Blitz uh, should be able to do some damage. I'm hoping at least half. Oh, geez, it was a one-hit knockout. That's awesome. Uh, so down goes the Thunderous. I am going to lose some uh, uh, some health from the recoil damage from the Flare Blitz. And most likely the Starmie is going to come back into play. I'm kind of hoping the Darmanitan will be able to outspeed. Uh, oh, it looks like it's going to be the, uh, the Talon Flame uh, back onto the field here. Um, Brave Bird's going to definitely come to play. So I'm going to just go back out to my Rhyperior here. Uh, the Rhyperior is definitely going to be my biggest wall, I think, in this match. Um, so in comes Ryan, uh, ready to take a Brave Bird or a Flare Blitz to the face. Um, so here it comes. Here's the Brave Bird coming into play. And bam, right to the face. Uh, Rhyperior survives, which is awesome. Uh, more than likely, he's going to swap out the Talon Flame. Um... So I'm actually going to go for the Substitute. I can't see him staying in with the Talon Flame. So the Substitute's going to be a better idea here. I definitely want to get that uh, Substitute off. Yeah, so there's the Switch. He's going to swap out. And most likely Starmie's going to... Oh, Sylveon's back on the field. That is awesome. Uh, so it's a shiny Sylveon here on the field from uh, Scarlet's side. We've got the Substitute off here as well. Um, so pretty well at this point, I'm going to try to go for that Stone Edge. Now that Stone Edge is going to be one of my more powerful attacks. Uh, looks like the Sylveon is going to go for the Calm Mind. Now the Calm Mind is going to raise its special attack and its special defense. Alright, there's the Stone Edge. And I'm hoping this is going to do quite a bit of damage. That has done quite a bit, actually, which is awesome. It looks like I've activated a berry. Um, looks like Sylveon's defense was raised. Which is not good. This thing is going to be a wall. It's going to be insane. Um, going to go for the Stone Edge here again. Hoping that it doesn't miss. Because if it misses, I'm going to be pretty screwed. There's the Hyper Voice. 
Uh, the Hyper Voice, holy shit, I forgot that Hyper Voice can actually go through subs. Um, oh shit, totally, <laughs> totally lost, um, totally lost my right period. I'm gonna go into Scizor now. Now, I'm not sure if I want to Mega Evolve. If I Mega Evolve, I might be able to do some serious damage, but I also have Alakazam with me, uh, which I don't really want to get stuck with having no Alakazam Mega. Um, although I do need to get this Sylveon taken care of, and I'm pretty sure my other Pokemon are gonna be able to take the team. Let's go for the Mega Evolution and go for the Bullet Punch. I'm really hoping that I'm gonna be able to get some serious hit off here. Oh, he's gonna withdraw the Sylveon. Oh, I totally should have seen that happening. Uh, he's gonna go into the Talonflame. Um, not good. Not good at all. Uh, here we go with the Mega Scizor. We've got the Scizor on the field, and uh, let's go for the Bullet Punch. Good enough. Um, could go out to the Gudra. Could go out to. Dang. Let's go out to. Let's go out to our Darmanitan there again. I think I've pretty well just sealed this battle's fate uh, just by selecting. Okay, there's the Flare Blitz. So the Flare Blitz is going to get on to the Darmanitan. Taking it like a champ. I don't know. He's most likely going to go for the Brave Bird. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Rock Slide here, just in case I'm able to survive the Brave Bird. I don't think I'm going to be able to, but I'm going to try. Yeah, unfortunately I didn't survive that. Um, I'm going to go out next to the Gudra, I think. Yeah, let's go back out to Gilbert. Or, let's go out to Gilbert for the first time in this match, actually. I've been doing a few battles there today, guys. Uh, so we've got the Gudra out on the field. Let's go for the Muddy Water here. I should be able to survive a hit, I'm hoping. Now, most of his Pokemon, like the Spiritomb and the Starmie, are down into the red. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. Oh, the U-Turn! Okay, so I'm going to have to worry about that Talonflame. That Talonflame is going to be a big problem for this team. Uh, I've already lost my main walls. Uh, back out into the Sylveon. Um, so the Muddy Water is going to come into play here. And... I should have probably gone for the Sludge Bomb. But hopefully I get the uh, the accuracy drop, which I don't. Not good. Uh, let's go for the Sludge Bomb here. Oh, I'm, I'm faster! What? There's the Sludge Bomb. Yes! Down goes the Sylveon. Yes! Down the fairies. Down all the fairies. Um, <laughs> down the fairies. He's going to go back out with Zumi. Uh, Zumi is his Lapunny here. Um... Swap out. I'm gonna go out to the Scizor, actually. Uh, because it is Impish, I should be able to take a hit, no problem. Alright, there's the Ice Punch. Now, the Ice Punch was definitely intended for the Hydra. Hopefully, I don't get frozen. That'd be some bad news. Go for the superpower. That's probably predicted. Let's go for a bullet punch here. Ooh, he's gonna stay in. Interesting. Oh, barely, barely holding on. Uh, there's the high jump kick. Not gonna do a whole pile of damage. But he is gonna die from the burn, which is pretty sick. Um, the Talon Flame is most likely gonna come back into play, uh, mainly because of the Brave Bird and as well as the uh, so I'm going to have to swap out the Scizor again, and I'm going to have to go into my Gudra. I do not want to lose that Scizor. That Scizor is going to be the biggest thing that's going to be able to get me through this match besides the Alakazam. Uh, Gilbert is... Ooh, he's gone for the Roost. Very interesting. Okay, so he's got Roost. Let's go for the Muddy Water here. I should be able to do some damage with Muddy Water. Uh, he's probably going to switch. Knowing that I'm able to do the Muddy Water, he's probably not going to stay in. Uh, 
Alright, there's the U-turn. He's definitely swapping out. Every time he does that, I lose a little more health. Okay, he's gonna go into Spirit Tomb. Uh, so I'm hoping the Muddy Water's gonna be able to do some damage off onto that Spirit Tomb. I do not want to die from the Spirit Tomb. Uh, here's the Muddy Water. Now the Muddy Water is going to take a hit onto the Spirit Tomb, and down goes the Spirit Tomb. So we don't have to worry about that one anymore. Uh, pretty awesome, of course. I don't know what's going to come into play. It looks like it's going to be Starmie. Oh, shit, that's definitely going to have speed. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to try to hit it here. Uh, he's going to go for the Ice Beam. Now, the Ice Beam is going to hit onto the Gudra. And uh, I survive it, of course. And he does lose his Starmie because of his Life Orb, which is awesome as well. Uh, of course, the Dragon Pulse is not going to be able to hit anything because there's nothing there to hit. Um, so in comes the Talon Flame here again. And uh, I'm kind of thinking that's his last Pokemon, which it is. Um, if I get hit by an attack, it's most likely going to be the Brave Bird, and the Brave Bird's probably going to take out the Mudra, but I'm not certain for sure. Um, yeah, down goes the Mudra. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to stay in. Uh, so now I've got a problem here, guys, because now all I have left here is the Alakazam and the Scizor. So let's go out to the Alakazam here. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to take any kind of a hit from this thing, but I am going to go for the Psychic here anyway, just to see. Oh, I'm faster! He totally chose a Flare Blitz! Why? Oh my god! What? Down goes the Talon Flame, and it looks like I've actually defeated Scarlet, so that's awesome. Thank you very much for the battle there, Scarlet. And uh, if you guys enjoyed the battle there today, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Post your comments in the comments section below. And as well as hit that sub button so that way you guys always know when my battles go live. Uh, I've been doing a lot of streaming on Twitch TV slash Angel of the Night 091. So be sure to go check that out and follow it. That way you guys can always see battles live. Now the battles that you're seeing here are completely different than the ones that I get from my stream. So be sure to check out both places because that's where you're going to see all of the battles. Um, so guys, thank you guys again for watching. And I hope you all have an awesome day today. Take care.